greetings and good evening. Welcome to the Pace of Faith program. We hope you had a wonderful day and we take this opportunity to thank God for allowing us to share his word once again. Our text for the day is found in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 23 to 27. This is what it says. It was by faith that Moses' parents hid him for three months when he was born. They saw that God had given them an unusual child, and they were not afraid to disobey the king's command. It was by faith that Moses, when he grew up, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose to share the oppression of God's people instead of enjoying the fleeting pleasures of sin. He thought it was better to suffer for the sake of Christ than to own the treasures of Egypt, for he was looking ahead to his great reward. It was by faith that Moses left the land of Egypt, not fearing the king's anger. He kept right on going because he kept his eyes on the one who is invisible. We're going to talk about trusting God without reservation. Moses was one of the heroes of faith. He was born at a time when Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, had issued an order that every newborn Hebrew boy be killed at birth. God enabled Moses' parents to see that he was an extraordinary child and they hid him for three months. Let alone, God allowed Moses to be raised in Pharaoh's palace. God was actually preparing Moses because he wanted to use him to deliver the children of Israel from Egypt. Moses' faith went through various tests, yet he put his trust in God. He trusted God without reservation. There are three things that enabled Moses to trust God without reservation. And number one, he was rooted in faith. It's important to note that uh, Moses' parents were also people who exercised their faith, and Moses was privileged to be brought up by parents who put their trust in God. There is uh, certainly, uh, certainly there is a possibility that they created an atmosphere of faith in their home. And because a home is the first school where faith is first learned by a child, Moses was able to learn from the faith of his parents. And that is why even when he went to Pharaoh's palace, he was able to exercise his faith. We too can create an atmosphere of faith in our homes so that our children can learn from us and later on, even when they are away from us, they can be able to exercise their faith. To be rooted in faith will require us to do two things. One is to study the scriptures on a daily basis, for faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. But also, number two, we will be required to spend time in prayer. In the life of Moses, we note that number two, he was able to trust God without reservation because he refused the world and chose God. Refusing and choosing were key things in the life of Moses. He refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He also refused to enjoy the easy life at the palace. Moses also refused to enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin. 
On the other hand, Moses chose to suffer with God's people. He identified with them. We too must be able to refuse the world and choose Christ in our lives at any given time. You know, the Bible says that uh, choosing the world is making friendship with the world. And uh, when we make friendship with the world, we make an enmity with God. And the Bible also challenges us not to be conformed to the standards of the world, but to be transformed on a daily basis by the word of God. And this calls us to refuse the world. Refusing the world, we will not uh, follow, we will not imitate the ways of the world, but choosing Christ, allowing him to reign, to rule, and to guide everything that we do on a daily basis. So we must refuse the world and choose Christ. But then in the life of Moses, we also note that he relied on God. Verse 27 has uh, told us that he fixed his eyes. He was looking at the one who is invisible. In other words, he fixed his eyes on God. He was a man who was walking by faith, not by sight. No wonder whether with his people at home or at the palace, he was still able to continue trusting God. Relying on God enabled Moses not to rely on the position because as a son to Pharaoh, he had a good position. He did not rely on the prosperity. Neither did he rely on the power that was associated with that position. He chose to rely on God. We too need to make a deliberate decision to rely on God at any given time. Fix our eyes on him. And like Moses, when we fix our eyes on God, it gives us the ability to sail through in any given situation. And therefore, brothers and sisters, trust in God without reservation calls us to do three things. One, to be rooted in faith. Number two, to refuse the world and choose Christ. And then finally, rely on God. The Lord be with you as you purpose to trust him without reservation. Have a wonderful night. Stay blessed. Amen.